Yes, we begin our coverage of the T20 World Cup, T20 Women's World Cup, and we're calling it Quest for Queendom. And what a historic way to begin this coverage. Yes, and it's gotten underway in UAE. And the biggest story that we are starting with and that's taken center stage has been the rise of two subcontinent teams who've come on the back of growing dissent and discord back home, registering great wins, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Let's talk about Bangladesh first. This country, of course, is in the middle of one of the most intense political unrest that the country has witnessed in recent times. The uncertainty back home has had its impact on the sporting landscape too. In fact, the Women's World Cup was initially meant to be held in Bangladesh. These women, led by Nigar Sultana, would have played in front of their home crowd. They would have been cheered by their own fans. Bangladesh had to play in UAE. The World Cup got shifted there. Sure, they were up against a rookie side in Scotland yesterday, playing their debut World Cup. But by beating Scotland, Bangladesh registered their first win at the T20 World Cup in 10 long years, resulting in emotional scenes all through the stadium. Pictures, of course, broke the internet. Everyone were talking about that memorable win. Nigar Sultana is a tough leader, but she broke down and so did her teammates, giving fans back home so much joy amidst the dread that has surrounded them for weeks, giving cricket lovers one of the most memorable moments in the tournament already. Yes, that was Bangladesh and what a great way to have started this campaign, all eyes on them here on. And this was not the only side from the subcontinent that had a great outing. Pakistan is probably seeing a reversal of fortunes, at least here. The women are doing what the men are struggling to achieve. Pakistan cricket is in shambles. Their senior most hand, Babar Azam, just stepped down, relinquishing the captaincy of the shorter formats. They aren't winning matches and no one knows who will lead their white ball formats from here on for the near future. At such a time, their female counterparts have found a leader who could prove to be a game changer for her side and her country in this World Cup. She almost single-handedly won the match for Pakistan, helping them save face as a cricketing nation. Fatima Sana led her team to a memorable win over title contenders Sri Lanka the out, the dark horse in some sense in this particular tournament. The Chamari Atapatu led side have looked solid in the months leading up to this contest. But I have to focus on Fatima Sana, who is all of just 22 years old. She was all over the ground last night, affecting results with the ball, top scoring with the bat, and of course, her agility on the field. All of these at attributes of hers contributed to a superb result to kickstart Pakistan's campaign at the World Cup, something their male counterparts failed to do so months ago in the T20 World Cup, getting ousted from the tournament, losing to USA, one of the hosts there. And many obviously saw the irony in this. Pakistan women's team finally beat a side they had lost to a number of times leading up to this face-off. There were many questions over Sana leading the charge here in this mega tournament. How would a 22-year-old take all that pressure? It's a big moment, it's a big scale event. Something the senior Nida Dar had to bear the burden of for a very long time. But Sana's cool, calm presence was clearly the differentiator on the day. And that's how these two young sides, these underdogs in the World Cup, have given us and many cricket fans watching this sport a lot to revel about. Opening up this tournament to be an exciting one in the days to come. And of course, we will keep our focus going in our special coverage quest for Queendom.
First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.